Hello everyone. Hi TikTok. Hi TikTok. So today we're going to be talking all about weight loss medications. Dr. Katzen, you are an expert in weight loss medications. You do offer them. Yep. Let's talk about the different options that we have. Yeah. So there are basically two schools of medications. There's like the Ozempic family uh, and then there's the Trizepatide or the Zepbound family. They pretty much work the same way. It's a weekly injection. Tiniest needle and then you just watch yourself lose weight. There are different names for these medications, yep. like um, we hear Wigovi, yep. Monjoro, Zepbound, yep. and Ozempic is the number one yeah. that we hear. Oprah is on Ozempic, publicly made that known. It's no secret, it's all over the internet. Uh, so that's the one that sort of steals the spotlight, Ozempic. But the one that works best, clinical studies show it, it's all in the medical literature, is this other medication called Zepbound or uh, Trizepatide, okay? Same family as Ozempic, but just a little bit different. And let's talk about in a way that like everyone would understand what these medications do to our bodies. Yeah, so the medications work four different ways. Okay, so it affects four factors that we know about. It can affect other factors that we don't know about yet, but four factors definitely we know about. One, it hits the pancreas tells the pancreas, make more insulin. Insulin drives down your glucose levels, mm -hmm. okay? That'll cause weight loss. Number two, it tells your liver, hey liver, make more glucagon. Glucagon drops your glucose level. Dropping those glucose levels decreases your glucose levels. You lose fat, all right? Number three, it slows down your intestines. You basically feel full all the time. It feels like you just ate. Not that bloated, oh gosh, I shouldn't have eaten that whole burrito kind of feeling, mm -hmm. but you just feel full, satiated, mm -hmm. like you're not hungry. And number four, the one I find most exciting, is that it shuts down the brain noise. It shuts down the food chatter. Mm. It basically tells your brain, you don't need, it's okay, you don't need to start thinking about food all the time, <laughs> about, you know, dinner tomorrow night, and, you know, right. what about breakfast on Wednesday, and all these other things. It basically turns down all that chatter in your brain. Yeah. So four ways. Brain, intestines, liver, and pancreas. So I can speak from experience because I've been on trizepatide, which is the Zepbound. Mm -hmm. That's also Monjoro, right? In the family. In the Manjaro. family of Zepbound yeah. and Monjoro. I've been yeah. on it now for three full weeks. If I got the shot today, this would be the fourth week. Um, and I've lost 10 pounds so far. So I thought this was um, a crazy yeah. drug. I, I didn't know how it could possibly turn off food noise. How could this drug possibly affect your brain? But it really does. Because I am someone who would think about food all the time. I would come to work and be like, so, like, what's everyone eating for dinner tonight? Yep. All the time. But no longer um, because you still think about food. She's changed. I've changed. Like, you still think about, like, how good these things taste, but you don't need it. Yeah. You know, and you don't need it urgently. Yeah. Before, if I needed a bagel, I needed a bagel. And unfortunately, there's a bagel shop next door. <laughs> like, you know, and you do feel full for a majority of the day. So mm -hmm. it makes intermittent fasting a lot easier to do. Yep. Um, one thing that's difficult for me and other people as well is to like hit a protein goal, I think, because yeah. you're so not that hungry. Right. So protein's a little bit harder to digest maybe than mm -hmm. fats and carbohydrates, things like that. So getting that protein in may be a little bit more difficult. So you may want to consider getting that protein in as a liquid, like mm -hmm. liquid protein drinks, stuff like that. Yeah. Uh-huh. So that, and then I also find it more motivational to work out. Mm -hmm. And um, I started doing Pilates. It's like only a 45 minute class, two to three times a week. And it's the perfect way to work really hard while you're doing it and just get it out of the way within one hour, you know? She does the extra advanced class too, so. No, I did one beginner's class and like four regular classes. Okay. And they're all, all right. really hard. And the second you start, you're already shaking. You're like, oh, what did what I sign I? up for? Yeah. But then you're locked in you can't you can't back out you're lost it's not in. like the class starts and you're gonna bow out you're no, in there you're you're stuck yep. it's much more motivational to do these workouts when you have that help with that weight loss and yep, you don't absolutely. feel hungry all the time absolutely so usually in that first month they won't see any change so you're sort of an exception but you know you're highly motivated and you're exercising intermittent fasting everything like that so you're doing all the components now you can take the medications and not exercise and not do intermittent fasting, and you will continue to lose weight. That's pretty much almost guaranteed, mm -hmm. all right? But if you wanna get those added benefits of losing so much weight so quickly, do the intermittent fasting, do the exercising, do the aerobic exercise, do the resistant exercise, and you will lose weight. 
Now, what is your secret to maintaining your weight? Because you haven't gained weight. Yeah, uh, I think consistency, you know, sort of, uh, you know, I think of the body sort of like a car, you know, uh, you just give it the right gasoline, treat it right, don't sort of trick it and, you know, decide, oh, I'm gonna eat this whole box of M&Ms. No, you just wanna be consistent on the gasoline you give your body. And the gasoline should be, you know, as good a gas as you can afford, okay? So I would suggest eating as much protein as you can. Junk food, not so much. Mm -hmm. Fast food, not so much. Mm -hmm. Sodas, no, okay? So basically try to eliminate as much sugar. Sugar is the enemy. That, that's what's the bad stuff. So get rid of all the sodas and the diet drinks, all the artificial sweeteners, all the candy, things like that. Uh, and then work on the carbs. So if you can eliminate as much carbs as you can, um, that's ideal. And if you can concentrate mostly on protein, high protein, uh, yeah, and there's a lot of food that is high protein. Mm -hmm. Yeah, make sure you get your vegetables in there too, because vegetables are very important for uh, fiber, everything like mm -hmm. that, which you may not get with the protein. So that's the secret. And, and intermittent fasting, right. very important. Mm -hmm. Um, on these weight loss medications, intermittent fasting is pretty easy to do. Yeah. Uh, for me, I've tried different diets for a bit. Like I tried keto for a yeah. couple months. You knew that. Um, and I feel like for me, I had a hard time kind of, you know, restricting myself so much. But on these medications, which it's trisepatide. I'm on trisepatide right now. And I've been having an easier time just having like a couple bites of something if yeah. I really want it. Like a couple bites of a cheesecake, for example. Yeah. And I feel like I don't need to eat the whole slice, which yeah. is crazy. It's best not to eat sugary at okay, all. Okay, but if you're Zero. gonna have a couple bites of it. This is our program. Right, so weight loss program. Uh -huh. And is there a certain BMI you have to be to qualify for this? Nope. Um, BMI is important. Uh, it is an important number, but it's only a number. And uh, we get that to assess your height versus your weight and uh, use that number. But it's not mandatory, necessary uh, to have a certain number before we get you on these medications. We want to basically get you back down to a normal weight. Mm -hmm. And so do you have some morbidly obese patients yeah. on this? Yeah, a lot of uh, morbidly obese patients. Maybe they're not healthy enough to undergo gastric bypass procedures, ruin why, duodenal switch, etc surgical procedures on the stomach. So we can get you on these medications to at least get rid of some of that primary weight before you undergo a riskier surgery. Well, if you have any questions regarding the weight loss medications, plastic surgery in general, give me a call. We can set you up with a virtual consultation or a live consultation here in the Beverly Hills office. Thanks. Bye.